Hi, this is Brian Madden, and this is the companion video for step 11 in the Mission Pinball Framework tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and start it, uh, trying to connect to the P Rock. So it probably would help if I turned on my machine. And there we go, it's connected. Uh, my window is up on the screen. Uh, and there I see press start. So I'm going to go ahead and push start, player one, ball one, ball ejected into here. I'm going to go ahead and hit start again for a second player. Player two added, I will launch my ball. I can flip. And I'm not really gonna do anything here. I'll just kinda let the ball drain. And I see player two ball one, I'll launch that. I can flip. Again, I'll let the ball drain. And we can kind of play through this. By the way, if if the ball gets stuck somewhere, like if it goes into a, a play field device, like I'll put it down here. So nothing happens, because I haven't defined this switch yet in the game, and I haven't defined this coil to eject it. So MPF has no idea the ball is there, so it's going to get stuck. Uh, this is annoying, for example, in this game, if I would shoot it down this subway and it goes down here, it's just going to be stuck down there. So in the next steps, I'll drain that. In the next steps, we'll actually uh, configure the rest of your switches and the rest of your coils. Then you can configure the rest of your ball devices, and the game will automatically kick them out of devices where it doesn't belong, where they don't belong. Um, but for now, we're just playing through. It allows player two, ball two. There's player one, ball three. Launch that. Still flipping. And uh, player two, ball three. And there we go. So now it says press start because uh, the game is over. Notice if I hit the flipper buttons, um, it doesn't flip. Uh, again, I can push start. And actually, I just hit start button and nothing happens. So I will have to look into it. Oh, there it is. I think I just hit it too fast. So hit start once, twice. Um, my start button, I think, is actually maybe wonky here. So that's, um, you know, <laughs> that's a harder problem. Anyway, there we are. That's uh, step 11. You should have a flipping machine by this point.